John, we're so excited about you discussing LFP batteries over at our upcoming CMI Summit. Tell us a little bit more about this topic. Yeah, so LFP batteries are getting really exciting worldwide. Um, they are still a lithium ion battery, just like nickel, manganese, and cobalt batteries are, but they're getting really a wide scale acceptance. They're becoming the battery of mass adoption. What do I mean by that? You see some of these uh, uh, vehicle manufacturers that are now uh, assuming the, uh, the LFP battery in some of their vehicles and immediately slashing the cost on, 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 their, on their models. We see this happening with Tesla. They've moved it into the Model 3, the Model Y, and they've also moved it into uh, some of their larger, uh, large-scale transportation vehicles. Okay, so uh, a battery of mass adoption. Fantastic. Now, you come into this uh, strategy with phosphate. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. The lithium iron phosphate battery is exactly what it says. It's got lithium, like other lithium ion batteries, but it's also got iron and phosphate. So a critical element is the phosphate and also the iron that's not found in the other batteries. So obviously, you know, we need a, a pure source of uh, North American phosphate, a source that can pr produce a lot of uh, what is called purified phosphoric acid, which is what goes into the batteries. And so we have a very pure form of igneous rock in the Lac Saint-Jean region of, of Quebec that produces a lot of purified phosphoric acid that, that can produce a lot of uh, batteries, can produce all of the batteries required until 2030 in the North American space. And of course, you're, you have a premium phosphate or very high quantity quality phosphate. Correct me here. Yes. Yeah, so our, our phosphate, um, you know, our phosphate concentrate that goes into making purified phosphoric acid is at 40 and a quarter percent purity inside of Appetite Rock. The next closest that you get is 30%, which is the world standard uh, in sedimentary rock out of Morocco. So we're sitting at a full 33% higher purity, which means that 90% of our material can be converted into purified phosphoric acid, whereas sedimentary material a lot less, you know, around 10, maximum 20% can go into purified phosphoric acid. So it means, you know, we're almost a, a, a purely focused on purified phosphoric acid for the LFP battery industry, and we can be completely focused on the technology client and not on the fertilizer business. You have one of the best marketing decks I've ever seen for a publicly listed company in your market cap. You clearly outline your plan of action and how you plan on doing it with a timeline. Congratulations, kudos. Yeah, thank you very much. We've been working hard on it, working hard on you know getting focused and meeting the deliverables. You've just signed a licensing agreement with Integral's Power Limited. Can you tell us a little bit more about your deal? Yeah, so there's a, a numerous uh, companies out there um, in the Western world that have technologies for making LFP cathode active material. Um, and Integral's Power Limited is one of them. What we like about them is that they're developing a new brand of LFP that you know um, can re resist in, in colder temperatures and can be adapted to you know different uh, um, production uh, types that are that are looked for in the LFP battery. And what we like about um, Integral's Power is that they're willing to work with us to make some sample um, cells using uh, our uh, purified phosphoric acid that will be shortly produced, as well as our iron sulfate that will be um, shortly produced. And we like the fact that they're also going to be uh, hom homologating to our, um, to our uh, materials, meaning that once that we're homologated to their um, spec, it means that all of their customers will want to use the purified phosphoric acid and the iron sulfate that comes from our deposits to make LFP battery using their uh, methodology. Okay, for those of you seeking to access this wonderful marketing deck and to find out more about more information about First Phosphate, please go to their website. John, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.